Hi, welcome to Ikate's Crossing. Okay, Sacred Path cards have been around since um, 1990. Now, I have had this deck before, again, disappeared, so now I have repurchased it. I used this originally when I had the Native American, with the Native American Tarot, which I want to do again, which I'm really looking forward to working with and really sort of getting to know the cards, the Sacred Path cards again. Comes in a beautiful box here, as you can see, with a beautiful hard covered book. Now they are illustrated, the drawings, or the artwork is illustrated by Linda Childers. What I love is the information held in this book. It's beautiful. For a guidebook, it is stunning. It's got so much information, lots of spreads, lots of information, applications. It's just a superb, superb book. So I'm looking forward to diving deep into that. Now, this is actually like a tuck box to get these which I hate using because I'm always, again, straight away damaging the cards. Just give me a minute. Let's see if I can do it this way. There we go. One thing I don't like about tuck boxes is the boxes get ruined, so I like to always keep the cards in a bag. Oh my god, they feel so new. Of course, it's going to be sticky. Of course, so it's going to take a little bit to sort of get apart. You can see that they are quite sticky when you first bring them out of the box. So it is going to take a minute to sort of go through. And, um, oh. Oh no, that's okay. Okay, that's just the title card there. That's the back of the cards, which are beautiful. So, as you can see, so it's got the number, the title, and a some keywords at the bottom. So it's just going to take a bit of a time to go through them all. Each card has quite a bit of info on it with the imagery. So this is going to be take a little bit of time for me to reinquate myself with the stick. Taking it very slowly just to separate the cards out. I think once I shuffle them a little bit they'll be okay. Now that I've separated them. Just going to bend the card slightly to sort of separate them a little bit. Don't try and tug too hard. Just very, very gentle. These decks are, this, this, this deck in particular to me is very, very sacred. It means a lot to me, so I've sort of waited a long time to get this deck again. A few times I've looked to order it and it's been out of stock, so I've just waited and it's come back. It's a 44 card deck and that's it there. So let's have a look. Let's choose one card to reflect on today and then we'll have a look at the book and see what the book has to say. Oh, today we're looking at the Great Mystery, the original source. Oh, isn't that interesting? What an interesting card to pull out for today in regards to this deck. So let's have a look. What have I just dropped? A pen. I don't want to drop. Right, so 37. Let's have a look and see what the book says. Okay, listen to this. What I love about this is it does come up with a little bit of a, 
Uh, oh, I don't know if you can see the poem there. So, original source of creation, the void of all that is. Thank you for the breath of life. Thank you for my gifts. Internal mystery, touch my heart. In beauty, may I walk. Sacred mystery, be my guide, so I may walk my talk. Infinite source, remain with me, so I may always know. The warmth of your internal flame, deep within my soul. Okay, the original source of creation is called Great Mystery of Native Americans. Great Mystery called... Swineo in our Seneca tongue cannot be limited and is the creator of great spirit. Many native people also call upon the great spirit when praying. However, these are two different things in our Seneca tradition. The great mystery lives in everything, is everything, and encompasses everything in creation. Being the original source of creation, great mystery created all things in beauty, harmony, and interdependence. Each facet of creation was, is, and always will be. The forms may change, but the energy of creation is self-regenerative and internal. Inside of this infinite creation that is great mystery, there is a viral, a vibral core or primal energy source that is the great spirit or creative principle. The two are different. Both great mystery and great spirit are individually complete, unique, and independent of each other. Great mystery created great spirit to direct the creative flow of the uni worlds, which include all universes, all levels of consciousness, all understanding, and all life. The key for seekers who wish to know the answers of the void is that great mystery does not need to be solved. As we explore and discover the mystery further, we learn that more is created and allowed to involve. Trying to figure out all the answers to the great mystery is foolish and impossible because we are a part of the infinite progression creation. I'm not going to read it all. It's so much information. So we've got the, and then at the end of that, we've got the great, the application. The great mystery card tells us the original source is the creator of all life and we are created in that likeness. We are free world co-creators who become the source of all we choose to experience in life. The buck stops here. We are totally responsible for our joys and all our pain. In receiving this card, you are being reminded to give gratitude for all of your lessons. It changes any pain to gain. Focus on your creative capacity, capacity and you can change anything. It may be time to drop any blame, shame or regret and take charge of your life. The victim role doesn't suit two-leggeds. We are created in the image of an infinite creator and are therefore limitless co-creators. In all cases, great mystery will continue to confound and astound us every try time we try to figure it all out. Stop your mind's chatter and listen to the source. Original source shows us that the mystery lives within us and contains all the answers we need to find along. The sacred path. The sacred path of beauty is experiencing the mystery of life without having to control the outcome from our tunnel vision command post. Go with the flow and watch the glory of limitless co-creation. After all, great mystery is the divine plan and everything is on schedule. So it sounds like everything is going as it should do. Just remembering to stop the internal chatter and just be, be in the moment. So that's it from me. So that's the um, Sacred Path cards by Jamie Sands, illustrated by Linda Childers. And this is a one Harper, Harper One, sorry, Harper One Publishing. So yeah, so that's it from me. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care and blessed be.